What's up? What's going on? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Let's get down to the situation, but please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, y'all. So let's get down to this situation. Let's talk about escape because there's still some beefing going on. They still ain't got it right yet. Like, Lord have mercy, it is going down because a lot of the fans of escape are asking some questions and they're looking at these flyers. There's flyers all over the place and there's only three members and Tasha's not there. So people are asking questions and wondering what's going on what is happening and so they're taken to social media to instagram to find out what's good and what's popping in the whole situation and then we have tamika which is tasha's sister she basically responds to the people in the comment section okay but in any event a lot of people are just concerned because there's so many dates coming up for the escape tour or escape with this person that person blase the third old school tour and you know tasha's not on them flyers so people are curious about this whole situation and you can see the flyers on the screen child this is real shady especially if you want to be there and you want to make some money and you missing out on the money like something's going on in this whole situation it is Shay Tay. So y'all tell me what y'all think about this whole situation. But one thing is for sure, um, Tasha is basically saying that you know she wants to be there, but she can't be there because you know the promoter that is promoting Escape is basically the people that threaten her husband to put him to sleep, to put him out to better days, to go to the pearly gates and things of that nature. So she's insisting that she is not going on any of these tour dates, and she jumped down in the comment section to call her sister Tamika Scott a liar and also to call Candy Burris a liar. I wonder if Tasha is going to ever address these rumors out here that her husband got a baby on the way child because mm, mm, mm. well it might not be that important to her. Her money might be more important to her than anything and watching you know the group escape out here performing and making that money and getting it so you already know but in any event let's get down to this whole sticky situation child so in any event as the people was on instagram basically complaining like what's going on with tasha where's tasha and one person said oh tasha is still pulling them same antics that she was pulling back in the 90s separating herself from the group and trying to work solo that never works out for her oh what a dig and then somebody else said you know what that might not even be true maybe she is doing something else maybe something else is going on she she might not even know what's happening. Like, you don't know. Stop jumping to conclusions because what you're saying is hearsay. It ain't the truth. You know, you don't know what's happening. You don't know what's going on. And I don't think, you know, um, Tasha wants to have a solo career. So homegirl was out here caping and basically giving Tasha the benefit of the doubt. And that's when Candy jumped in and said she definitely has a solo deal. It will be on the TV show. It's already being filmed. And you are right. She definitely can still do stuff with us. It's her choice when she's not a part of the show. So basically, you know, Canty's out here saying, girl, the reason why you don't see uh, Miss Tasha is because it's her fault. She don't want to. And basically, she does have a solo career. So child, this is getting ugly. And the girls are out here swinging on Instagram, sw swinging online. I was like, what's going on with the legends? What's What's going on with the girl group? Can Tasha, you know, get security? Does she have somebody else represent her? Like, can they work something out? Like, this is just getting ridiculous and it's getting nasty when they all fall out together on stage. And it seems like in this type of situation, Tamika is siding with Candy Burris and also Tiny for real like this is crazy so y'all tell me what y'all think it's kind of sad and disappointing that they're beefing but it's like when do they ever get to a point where they can just work you know and tune and and connect and vibe with each other and work out things instead of having arguments and going to social media and then it's only three people on stage instead of four people on stage like come on like when is this going to end but in any event it hasn't ended yet somebody said i think we all need some understanding on these flyers because we don't see tasha on them okay and they're asking where is tasha where is tasha and then the real tamika scott she jumps in and she says my talented 
sister stepped back months ago to work on her solo career. She's booked up until next year. Her manager said they will let us know when she will be able to or be available to, you know, do shows with them again or do shows with us again. Thank you for your support of us escape and individually and then on top of that Tamika she kept going she said she did not do the show with us in Baton Rouge in September which was totally different promoter but she is working on her solo project so in any event Tamika's out here saying girl my sister's not here she's doing something else we try to contact her and her manager's telling us that she is not available so basically they're out here saying that Tasha you know she's the problem she's the situation and she's and she's the one that's not showing up to these shows, Candy and her sister. So, you know, what is really going on? So, you guys let me know what you think about this whole situation. I was like, oh, we. The sister basically saying that she's booked and busy. And Tasha saying that she's not booked and busy. So, it seems like Tasha is saying that, you know, they won't change things up as far as get a new promoter. So, therefore, I am I want them to side with me. And they siding, siding with, you know, the money and things of that nature. So, child, it is going down in this situation. It looks like, you know... Um, Tasha, she's, st she's sticking to her 10 toes. She's sticking 10 toes down in this situation. But the girls, they continue to perform. And they continue to make these flyers and these small videos without Tasha, baby. And I know it's eating her up because that's why she jumped on social media to respond to the whole situation. I was like, whoa, like, this is crazy, y'all. Like, what's really going on? Mm, mm, mm. And then, you know, it didn't end there because then, you know, Tasha, she jumped into the conversation too. And she says, the lies, the lies. I will say this again. I am not a part of these shows because the promoter threatened me being a widow while filming. And they still choose to work with him. I am so sick of all these false narratives. This has to stop. Mm. So she's saying this got to stop child. This is a whole lie to the fans. Again, I apologize. I am available for shows that don't involve the promoter. So basically she's sticking her grounds and the girls are sticking their grounds. And uh, I don't know. Can they come to a compromise and get a new promoter? Like what's going on? Like, you know, we're not getting four escape members because of a promoter. Like somebody, you know, like work this out. Like can't there be a business transaction? Is this person glued? in is it a contract does she sign a contract can you get out the contract like what is happening what is going on in this whole situation so this is what you know tasha she posted you know on the neighborhood talk because basically the whole showdown went on went on the instagram account the neighborhood talk okay so she jumped into the comments you know and basically put this up there and said that they lying and she's available so y'all tell me what y'all think about this whole situation yes it is getting gritty between the girls okay like this is really really crazy but in any event let's move on from that situation let's talk about the whole you know um award show soul train awards so let's talk about the soul train awards lord and the shade continue to shine your light for the world to see and when you're shining your light bring somebody up don't do it to dim their light you know what i mean embrace love love yourselves because i it took me a while to get to love myself but now we all are here and i just want everybody to understand that what well, it's all about love and it's all about this thank you <laughs> soul train thank you i want to say Thank you to Soul Train, of course, and thank you to my girls. I love y'all. Oh, yeah. yes. We love you, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Soul Train. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that was shared right there. Okay, it seems like, you know, Tasha and Tiny had a little words, and Tiny was not going to let Tasha have the last words, and they was not sure if Tasha was throwing you know shade at them about you know help somebody else out lift somebody else up okay stop being greedy so y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole situation child it's a mess what is going on with escape child these are all married women like we can't work this out mm, mm, mm.